Okay, so here is the Phoenix Pro. Let me move out of the way so it focuses on that, not me. All right. So this is the Phoenix Pro PTM11. You have your volume. You have a sync button. So if I have another set of headphones, you can hit the uh, another pack, I should say. Another one of these packs. You can hit the sync button and then connect to it. There's an IR receiver here, or a little sensor, and there's the IR sensor here too. So you'd put it near it like that and it would, it should pick it up. So you got your sync button. It shows you what group and what channel you're on. I'm on group one, channel one, because um, this is the only uh, system I have down here that is using, we're running on these frequencies. Um, you can change the group by simply clicking the button. And I believe there's five, two, three, four, five, back to one, yeah. And then channels, there are 10. I scrolled through it already before. And then you have your power button, which you have to hold to turn off and then push to turn on. Okay, the backside, it should be pretty simple. Like I said, it's a, it's a, it's a budget unit, so. The backside, you got your two outputs, your left and your right, obviously your power cable. And you have your two inputs, your left and your right. And then you have, um, I guess a 12 decibel I won't say boost, but it's a cut. So you can cut 12 decibels. Um, and then your antenna, obviously. And yeah, and then, so like for what I, what I do, like I said, running just the click, I'll take the, the plug and I will put it into the input of the Phoenix Pro. Cause I'm running from my phone out. So whenever something goes out, it has to go back in. So out of the phone, into the Phoenix Pro and into the speaker. So I got two. So I have the one side coming here and it's the side that I have my click on, which I believe is the right side. And then the left side, is anything mono is usually the left, I put to the speaker. So and that's what I do. And I pan all of the tracks to the left side and I pan the click to the right side so that you'll never get the click in the speaker. So the audience will never hear the click. So and that's pretty much it. So very simple unit as it should be for a budget unit. And again, that's kind of what I wanted because I didn't want something that had too many features where I'm going to be sitting here trying to figure the whole thing out. This was simple, just plug and play, literally. I plugged it in, I turned it on, and it worked. So that's honestly for a hundred bucks, that's what you want. So yeah, so now a demo. So. For this demo, I'm gonna be playing one of my Hereafter songs, actually the one you heard in the opening. Um, it's called This Is The End. It was from the album Time. It was the second track on that album. And the reason why I chose this track is because it relies heavily on the click. So you'll know that it works because when I, when the band comes in, it's just, it's, I won't say random, but I will have had I will have had to have played with a click in order for that to actually time correctly. So, um, so that's why I chose that track. Uh, I won't do the whole track because I don't want to bore you guys. If you want to check out the song, you're more than welcome to check out the song. Um, but I'm just going to play just a clip of it, maybe just that beginning riff, and then you know just till the band kicks in, and you get the idea that the the click worked. And uh, yeah, and then I try it with the Beats headphones just to kind of get an idea of what that's like. Yes, it will look ridiculous. Spoiler alert, it looks stupid. Um, on stage, you're not gonna go up there with beats and be like, yeah, I'm ready. You're gonna look silly. So the headphones that come with it are sufficient enough, honestly, and they are noise canceling, like I said. Um, there was also a deal on Amazon. And again, I'm not sponsored by any of this. I'm not getting any kind of money with it. I'm not affiliated. Um, but the, there was a deal where you buy the Phoenix Pro system and you get another pair of the headphones for free. So not the pack, just the earbuds. Just these. So these were actually the free ones that I got maybe a day after I got the other ones. So the other ones are still in the bag, which is right 
here. And to be honest, looking at them, they seem exactly the same. So, <laughs> so you, you buy, buy the uh, PTM 11 Phoenix Pro kit and you get another pair of cheap headphones for free. Great. Um, but again, they are noise canceling and they do work. Uh, my only gripe with those headphones is they don't, for me, because the way my ears are, they don't stay in. So they will eventually pop out. Maybe not both. Maybe in an environment when you're playing live and you're sweating, yeah, they'll probably have a hard time staying in there. They do have the good rubber um, grips for the ears, but again, it popped out on me without sweat. So I guarantee with sweat, that thing's coming out. So that's why I was investigating trying out different headphones to see what would work. And like I said, you're not going to go on stage with Beats, but you could find another, maybe the Shore ones that are like $90. You can invest in a nicer pair of in-ear uh, headphones so that you can, and when you do upgrade, you just keep the headphones and you can use them on the next system. So that might be an option too. But then your budget unit then turns into a $200 unit. But either way, it's still better than spending $1,000 if you don't need to. So, all right. Stay tuned, we're gonna test it out. Okay, you get the idea. So it does work. I hear the click. Again, I'm not a fan of the noise cancellation unless I can hear myself through it, unless I'm just using these as actual monitors too, um, but I'm not, so uh, I could actually. But the biggest problem is I have the guitar tone or track going through the uh, Nodal DSP Gojira plugin and then everything else is coming out of the speaker down here. So without a mixing console and having everything running through, there's no way I could do that through this way. But for a live situation, you could. You just have to hook everything up together. So, so my experience so far, like I said, they do have noise cancellation. Uh, it works. Not a fan of noise cancellation for live performance. Um, because I like to hear uh, everything that's kind of going on. Um, they're not bad, like I said, if you run it through a mix and you get all of the, um, if you get the mix in your headphones, it won't be as bad. Um, these headphones are okay. Um, my click was audible. It was loud enough for me to hear it. Not too loud to where it was annoying. Um, I was able to hear myself play the guitar. It was, but again, because of the noise cancellation, it kind of dropped it down a little bit. Um, I'm not sure what the sound quality is going to be like for you guys yet, because I have my microphone here, and you know the sound is coming from everywhere, so it's, it's probably noisy and it's not really mixed because it's coming from the speakers over there, the speaker down there. You got the annoying buzz, yeah. So a lot of a lot of good things going on here, um, but yeah. So I just wanted to kind of run a basic test and like I said, everything works great. Um, for a budget in-ear monitor system, it's really, you can't beat that for like, I think it was like a hundred bucks, maybe a little over a hundred bucks. And um, 
yeah, so not bad. Now I'm just gonna do one more test. Um, just out of my own curiosity, I know it's gonna work. It's not a question of whether it'll work. I just wanna know what it's like. So I'm gonna do one more test. I'm gonna run a regular set of headphones. I, I can't find my Apple earbuds that used to run to the 3.5 millimeter plug. In case you don't know, this is a 3.5 millimeter plug. There it goes, okay. That's a 3.5 millimeter plug. Apple used to make their ear buds with these before the phone switched to the lightning cable only. Um, so I have some from older phones. I just have no idea where they are. So I do have my Beats, which are gonna look a little ridiculous. I have a blue pair here that are not wireless. And then I have a black pair over there that I'm charging that are wireless. I'm gonna use the black ones. Um, because they were all dead. I went, <laughs> I went to go do this test before and everything I have is dead, so nice. Um, I wasn't sure I was gonna use the Beats, that's why I didn't charge them. And I thought they were charged because I use uh, headphones when I play the drums sometimes. Um, but yeah, they were dead, so nice. So now they're charging. Uh, I couldn't find the Apple earbuds. That's, that's what I wanted to use because they're small and you, know, you could actually put them in your ears without looking ridiculous. The only downside to the Apple earbuds would be that they don't have noise cancellation. So, but again, for me, I don't like noise cancellation. As long as the click is loud enough that I can hear it, that's good enough for me. I only like noise cancellation like when I'm just listening to music, like chilling somewhere and that's it. Um, being in an environment where I wanna hear what I'm doing and what's going on, I wanna be able to hear it. So, and I like hearing it naturally. I don't like hearing it through headphones. Um, that's why when I, when I sing in a, in a recording situation, one headphone on and one headphone off trick because, well, I won't say trick, but that's what I do when I record because I want to hear myself outside of in the headphone. I like to hear it naturally. I think it, it gives me more of an idea of what I'm actually doing. Um, because when you have the headphone on, it's loud in the headphones, which is not bad, but then you hear yourself through vibration in your head, which kind of messes with what you're actually hearing. So when, when you take the headphone off, you can hear naturally what you would sound like and it gives you a better idea. So anyway, let's, uh, let's get to trying some of the other headphones and, uh, and I'll give you my thoughts when I'm done. All right. You get the idea. It looks a little ridiculous, like I said, but I can hear the clicks. If you're not a fan of the earpieces that come with the Phoenix Pro, you can always buy another earpiece. But the fact of the matter is, if you're starting out like I am, this is my first in-ear monitor system. When I used to play live, we didn't really use them. This was a long time ago. Uh, when I played with Seven Wiser, we didn't use them. Uh, when I played out with Hereafter years ago, we didn't use them. So. We just use the uh, floor monitors, the old speakers, which I, that's what I have right now with the, uh, for the drum. It's one big floor monitor. So yeah, this is different for me. Uh, kind of cool because I like the idea of being able to kind of play, not that I want to play with backing tracks, I'd rather have real musicians, but in situations where you don't have people available to you, it works. So I have uh, a drummer. My bass player moved to Florida, so I basically, you know, find new musicians. But in the meantime, we can still practice with backing tracks and things like that. So the buzzing noise, again, I have to investigate because the wire is split and it only starts buzzing when I plug it into the Phoenix Pro. So, because watch, when I unplug it, this is what happens. Here we go. And this is the... Uh, Phoenix Pro, the back of it. Let's turn it up. Okay, so once I unplug it, nice and quiet. Um, and basically for what I'm using this for, like I said, you know, backing tracks, just keeping it simple, uh, the click, things like that. Um, it works fine. Let me take these off because they're a little ridiculous. Uh, it works fine for that. I don't need you know, a thousand dollar in-ear monitor system. If, you know, if you're not going on tour or doing anything crazy, if you go on tour and you're actually playing out, if you play out a lot 
and you have a, a decent sized band, it might be worth it to make the investment because you'll, you know, you'll, you'll get the money back in the long run. But for me, just kind of jamming, I don't even make money on YouTube videos. So it doesn't make sense for me to invest in anything more than something basic and simple because I don't really need it for anything more than that. If I perform out live, it's not going to be a huge band at this point. It's going to be me, perhaps Jerry and a bass player. So it's pretty much how we always used to play. We were always kind of a three piece, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. I mean, this thing is totally worth a hundred and ten bucks, whatever it was on Amazon Phoenix pro. I think this one's the 11. There's like different numbers. Yeah. This is the PTM 11. So like I said, this one, I feel like is worth like a hundred bucks. It's, you know, pretty cheap, but it works. You got your little batteries for your battery pack. Um, the volume knob on the unit, the volume knob on here, um, depending on how good the headphones you use are, it all makes a difference. So sound quality depends on the headphones you use also. So the unit itself, you know, sounds okay. It's not terrible, but again, I, I'm only using it for a click. So for me, it works fine for you. If you're using, if you're using it for like having, um, having the mix in the headphones and things like that it might be a little different. So, so just a quick update. So, uh, yeah, I'm wearing a different shirt. It's probably like a couple weeks later. I never finished the end of this video. So I'm doing a quick, quick, um, update. So I ended up returning the unit, uh, because I decided that I really didn't need it. Um, it was not bad. It was nothing wrong with it. I just felt like for me in my situation, I'm really not going to use it outside of in like plant, just jamming to like with myself down here. So I don't need it. So I returned it. Um, it was like a $110 unit. Uh, not bad for what it was. I do recommend it. If anybody is looking for a cheap in-ear monitor system, it was very capable and it worked fine. Uh, again, just not, really necessary for me. I didn't really realize I didn't need it until I just kind of played around with it and was like, you know, this isn't really something I need. Um, cool. If I was actually playing live places and things like that, even then I probably don't need it. I I'm perfectly fine using the floor monitor systems. Um, but it, but it was a pretty cool unit for a hundred bucks. So, so with that, my thoughts are pretty simple. Uh, if you're looking for a cheap budget in-ear monitor system, check out the Phoenix pro. It's not bad. Uh, again, not sponsored by anybody. I'm just saying my own opinions and, uh, yeah, it worked for what it was. And, uh, yeah, so stay tuned for some more videos. I'm going to be putting out a bunch. I have a whole bunch that I've recorded. I just, uh, you know, life got busy and I haven't had time to edit and put everything together. So I got like maybe three more videos coming within the next couple days. So I'm going to try and space them out. So I'm not just like loading videos at you and then, and then quiet again. So I don't mean to go dark when I go dark. It's just, um, uh, life gets in the way and you know a lot of things have happened and now i have some time so i'm gonna get back to doing some stuff i have a couple videos i've been like waiting to do um i also got some new equipment that i'd like to just kind of show again like these videos a lot of these products and things like that you can find other videos on youtube um i appreciate a lot of the comments i get about um i guess people like the way i explain things which is which is cool i try to keep it simple and um realistic for what I would use it for things like that. I'm going to do some more easy drummer videos. I want to do some more videos, um, using some of the software I have on my computer. I'm my next video, actually, I'm going to show off a, uh, a product that again, there's videos on YouTube for, um, that I use to do the backing tracks, uh, a product called stage tracks three. Again, not sponsored by anybody. Um, I actually make no money doing any of this stuff. I just do it cause I like it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it too. If you do, why not subscribe? And I will see you guys real soon. Thanks again for watching. Take care.